Hello everybody, this is Grazo. Welcome back to A Game of Thrones and Crusader Kings. Exciting news, we do have Dorne on our side uh, to help with our independence faction. But we still want to get, I think, one more person uh, in to this war. And we're working on uh, Lord Paramount Endros, the wolf of the Stormlands. That is what we're working on today. We also, if we can, we want to keep an eye on this guy's health. Uh, because when this guy dies... We are going to see the only person that we've pinned. Uh, my my father, my father, who's passed away, is there, and Helic, uh, who had a regular size son. In case you're wondering about this, he was a giant, she was a midget, and they made a normal son. He that's that's kind of way way of pin characters, just little side stories. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the episode. We are making a ton of money. We're reinvesting it in our lands. And we have a royal court situation. A closet cadaver. That is uh, way too long for me to read. So I'm just going to jump down to the bottom here. And I can gain a, a regalia artifact. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like... Uh... Yeah, let's get the regalia artifact. Let's just see. We already have a regalia. Terminate loss. Seduction power and prestige. Let's give it to our son. Uh, gift artifact. And let's give him that regalia. Just so he gets a bit of prestige going. Because uh, he has a little bit. But I mean. Uh, you can always do it some more. So we are fabricating a hook. We could do a murder scheme. If we wanted to is there anybody like in terms of hmm, are you betrothed you're are you betrothed of arranged marriage like let's say dynasty 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 is Kane. okay that's not going to work for this particular person but can we arrange a marriage Oh, this is Norman. Sorry, I thought he was a lady. <laughs> Whoops. Um, okay, that's not going to work. What about the Stormlands? Can we maybe have a look to see what succession looks like there? It's a grandson, grandson. We're looking for a granddaughter. We're looking for ladies in positions of power, please. Uh, how about the North? Hmm. Um, this lady is sickly. We could arrange a marriage, though. and We could say, hey, do you want to marry Denius Kane? Uh, they will not accept. Okay. Thought maybe that might be a, a way for us to inherit. Um, what about the Great Ice River? What about my claims? Let's see. Claims. I have High Lordship. I have some claims on these titles. Uh, what do we want to do while we're waiting on this hook? I suppose we could go to war. Like 10 is after. Look at the size of 10. 10 times bigger than the last time we looked at it. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. It's terrible. Please stick around. I promise the jokes get better. Um, a spy was hired. Brilliant. So, like, they almost have as much land as I do in the north. Declare war. Or maybe, maybe, maybe. We arrange a marriage. No, because the wall exists. Um, hmm. Just I don't want ten to take up so much land. No one has a, a claim on. Is there is there a way to invite claimants? Maybe, I think you're out. invite claimants. Let's do that. Let's spend a bunch of prestige and invite some claimants. Maybe we'll get someone with a claim on a kingdom. Let's just see how that pans out. Uh, meanwhile, we'll speed up speed up a little bit of time. Inspiration, scholarly topics. Um, so, this is the lady that's going to make a book, I think. And we could do it on the Drowned God, which will give us piety. Um, educational or entertaining, which might be prestige. Or um, It will be of higher quality. Let's just let her do her own thing. Okay, you have a claim on Golden Grove. Where is that? High Lordship of Golden Grove. It's in It's in the reach. Okay. Interesting. 
Good. Um, he has a, a claim on the Lordship of v Velon. Velon. Looking for kingdom claims, please. This is no good to me. Let's upgrade our cattle pastures there. Might have spent that prestige for nothing, but we're getting about 30 of it each month. We have got a decent looking flexible male armor set. Uh, so, this is currently giving us four prowess, and I'll take the I'll take the prestige. It's giving us four prowess, and this will give us five prowess and an additional seven prowess. Well, wow. retreat losses. Um, I don't really retreat. I just kind of run into battle. So let's take that one instead. Let's just have a look. So, thirty-eight prowess currently, and if we swap back. 37. Um, I don't need the army myself, so I think the flexible one will be good to give to my son. Gift artifact, I'll give him that armor. Just to increase his prowess. And uh, we need to get pre uh, <laughs> prestige. I think so why don't we yeah let's join this wedding and we have tons of cash so we could just say experience captains we don't need the mercenary guards where is the danger chances of danger and it is in a grove like forder yeah that will work low chance of danger at one location so maybe we do mercenary guards. There we go. That should fix it. Uh, let's go ahead and join this grand wedding. We haven't done one of these in a while. We'll speed. We'll lower this down. Um, Captain Axel can be re recruited into the Captain Axel. What a what a nice name. Um, my sister Hannah Kane can marry. So let's uh, let's get her a husband. We want. To marry specifically just for prowess. Yeah, you're not good. Hmm. Slightly higher quality. Okay, cool. Um, we could maybe marry her for a, for someone for a court. Who's Raymond? I don't care about his opinion of me. Or I could bribe him. What is going on here? Um, okay, let's let's just pause. I want to get this lady married. Is there anybody that's like ridiculously good? 30, 30 diplomacy is really good. 27. Or learning. Hmm. I think we're just going to do traits again. She uh, She's a genius, so let's marry for beautiful trait. Um, doesn't look like there's anybody that's beautiful that wants to marry her. What about Amazonian or Her Herculean? Yeah, let's marry, marry him. There you go. Perfecto. And... Excellent, excellent. Okay, the wedding's uh, in three months, but we've, we've arrived three months early. Imagine arriving to a wedding three months early. So much stress on the bride and groom. Um, the quality will be improved. I don't really want to give her the trade to hunt her. I don't need to care about that. Uh, this person is uh, asking for an artifact. I'm going to decline that. Okay, so out with the old. It, look, it looks like this is like a trade-in option for one artifact for another. A show merit that's my well-kept library pointing out some notable volumes and potions on display. Eldred insisted on coming and watching from, from afar, wincing each time an object is improperly handled. She must be like the librarian or something. Um, could we use its leaves? Um, so... 
we kind of want to sacrifice one of these. That's a decent book. That's also a decent book. Which one do we want to give it? Monthly income plus 2%. Monthly stewardship uh, plus, plus 25 prestige. This gives me like lifestyle experience in both in two sections. And I'm doing okay for money. So let's use that one. Let's use this one. Hopefully she gets me a good book after trading this one in. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Um, suppose we could speed up time a little bit here. It looks like he's figured out that I was trying to get a hook on him. So that is bad. Um, yeah. How else are we going to do this, man? We could look for secrets in no hang on we're, we're still looking can i can i i abduct him her recruit her as a spy she doesn't like me what if i was to send her a gift Okay, and then I recruit her as a spy. Oh. She will accept. Okay, we got his wife as a spy. Let's see if, if that helps get helps us get a hook. I'm not sure if that will, but just experimenting. Uh, okay. Someone's lover secrets. Not interested. So we got a straight up learning boost, a health boost, and learning lifestyle boost. That's brilliant. It's pretty good. Thanks for the good book. Uh, so it's actually a pedestal item, I think. Uh, <laughs> where else can we put it? Can we put it anywhere else? Is there any other book options? Furniture. Right, okay. I think we only have one section for a book over here. And currently this is on display. Let's change that up. We get a health boost. And do we want, do we want, do we want? Um, I think after one more, one more uh, increase here in our, in our lifestyle focus, we'll switch into um, learning. I'm gonna decline that. 500 gold here. We should be always building. Let's upgrade that. This person can become my friend. Nope. No, thank you. They'll get a hook on me then. Gain higher levels of courtesy. Prestige. Yeah, sure. I'll take that. Extra prestige. We're already back up at uh, 600 prestige. So monthly income while at war plus 10%. That seems really good to me, because we're going to be raising all of our focus, all of our forces pretty soon. So let's take that, and um, forgot we went down intrigue early, earlier on. I think we'll do learning, and we're going to go with the health boost. Or do we want to go just straight up learning and development growth? Yeah, we're getting the help boost from the book, so let's let's take the learning option. Um, kind of just evens out our character a little bit. Diplomacy, lifestyle, perk. 50-50. Nice! Free diplomacy perk. We can get... Um, hmm. We can propose an alliance without a marriage. Monthly prestige per dread. My dread is at a hundred percent. That will get me extra. That will get me tons of prestige. Sway. Title creation. Don't need. Fellow vassal opinion. Independent ruler opinion. Mm. Close family member opinion. I think the prestige per dread. Like I'm spending prestige to recruit better soldiers and stuff. So. 
Let's just keep an eye on Prestige here, right? Plus 28. Plus 43. I think that's good. Got it for free. Uh, 300 stewardship uh, lifestyle experience. Yeah, let's do that. These are pretty good. Uh, these weddings for like boosting your stats. Maybe I should be doing more of them. Um, lose a bunch of stress. Every guest with one common trait, uh, one trait in common gets 20 opinion. Yeah, that sounds good. I, I get life re... I get another huge uh, medium health boost. I should be feeling like pretty good now. Feeling fine. Nice. And I do... I, I do think that we're probably going to live for a little bit of time. I wish we could get rid of the widowed trait. I don't know how to do that. Um, this person's a non-believer. You have a claim. You have a claim on the Stormlands. Ooh, uh, do we want to... Are you married? You're not married. You are. You can... Hmm. Let's spend the money here and get the hook. Let's blackmail that lady. Absolutely blackmail her right now. Just get the hook. Okay. I think I'm going to end this scheme. It looks like it's going to take four years and it's not going to work. So let's stop that. Okay. Now, can I invite her to court? Yes, I can. She will not accept. Now she will accept. So she will join my court. Now, we have somebody in our court that has a claim on the Kingdom of the Stormlands. And I want her to... <laughs> Can I, can I just go to war for her now? Is that is that how it works? I'm already on an activity. Let's like when we get back from the wedding, let's see if we can put her on the throne of the Stormlands. It'd be good if I could ask her to marry somebody in my court. Learn of someone's secret? Yeah, let's do it. Learn of this lady's secret. Who is of House Garnet. She's unlanded. Not really too good to me, but the secrets. Our um, secrets are good for gold. There you go. Okay, now she should be willing to pay me pretty soon. Did she pop up on the list? Finish the ground item. That helped her prestige. Can negotiate an alliance here? No, it's not going to work. Okay. Get a strong hook on this person. No money. This person. And that person. Okay. What about a faction? Anybody else that we could add in? Add members. Nobody. Could potentially be forced. Can I get a hook on this guy? <clears throat> he, he's forced by you to join the independence faction. I already I don't have a strong hook. Okay. Anybody else that so no one else has that option. Okay, that's just interesting. Speed of time a little bit, I suppose. And I do want to just check now that I'm home. Maritime trading handbook. Naval's no. Nope. Let's not do that. Nearly home. Fantastic. Okay, let's just have a look at the Stormlands. See if we can put that lady on the throne. Lady. No, uh, but she is in her court. And we'll say claims. Claims. Is there an option to look for people that have claims? Ruler status. Not landed. Oh, unlanded. No. Not a ruler. Um, hmm. Well, I know that she's an adult and she's female. And that's say opinion of me, which would probably be bad. What was her name again? That's her there. I could romance her. I, 
like how far I'm thinking like I could romance or have a kid and then put my kid on the throne do I want to do that I can either send her to the sisterhood or I could romance her she is lustful she might she might like my style seduce her I mean that my son would have a claim on the Stormlands. Let's do it. Let's just let's do that. Seducing a member of uh, family and power in the Stormlands. And um, while we're waiting here, we may as well go to war. Let's uh, let's do a little war, shall we? Uh, let's get rid of that. So there's a couple of wars we could do. Um, invade kingdom. Don't have enough prestige to do that. Um, no, that's not a good option. So let's not do this one. Let's have a look here. I can evade kingdoms here. This whoa, 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 whoa. I don't understand how he has. Uh, that must be bugged. Two hundred thirty thousand soldiers. That's not for him. Conquer a duchy. Just take something that's like right beside me. Storage point is huge. Let's take that. Yeah, let's take st storage point. Laser soldiers. It's just her men at arms for now. Enemy alloy joins the war. Okay, we're up against 3,000 soldiers. Do we have a holy order? Nah, I don't. I can call on my alloy. Don't need them. Hopefully don't need them, should I say? <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, come on, come on. They're going to march north. And I think we'll just get our soldiers just in time. Woohoo, we got them just in time. Go here. We'll win decisively. We should win decisively. Challenge for an artifact. Decline. I'm at war, man. Actually, these guys. Yeah, we're going to destroy their army. 35% war score. Merge all in together. Go and take this area. We only lost 16 soldiers there. That's another... Smash and grab, I think. Yeah, brilliant. We are sieging this so, so quickly. 50% war score. We'll take that. We'll also take this. <clears throat> this just boosts our army numbers, in case you're wondering why I'm doing this. More land is more soldiers. And we're just sieging all the way down to join the town. Uh, this is a character from the family I played as the Wilding Campaign, the, the Shivers. I thought it was an interesting name. Because obviously it's cold above the wall. Um, he has. He, it will convert, so we'll let him out. And that means that we have like access from the sea without going around hard home now to whaling territory, which is nice. 85% war score, cool. There is a. Uh, Weir, are they called weirwood trees? I'm not sure what they're called. Lo lovely, beautiful tree model there in the middle. How is this guy above the wall? He will not accept. Public execution. All the main counties get uh, control. That's good for me. And I can demand payments. We're not going to take them just yet. A guardian for my son, Lord Jarl. Jarl. Uh, he is... Currently doing martial education. This is why we wanted to recruit geniuses. Just for this very purpose. And I'll get my son to, to look after him. Which will in turn increase their opinion of each other. 97% war score. And last little place we're going to take here is just beside the coast. And this guy is just going to convert. We'll let him out. Sweet. Easy, simple war. Boom. 
uh, enforce their demands. So we have taken a little bit more land above the wall and we didn't actually get any land, it seems. <laughs> Maybe we already, I don't know, did we already own that? I'm not sure, hard home. Okay, what about this one? Against 10, you could take like a duchy, store its point. Um, if I do this, it kind of cuts him off, right? Cuts his army in two. Uh, I don't have the prestige to do it right now. All right. How's our little seduction scheme going? Maybe just throw a little bit of gold at her. Buy her a drink. Take her for, take, take her for lunch. Sure. Let's go with that. Uh, there's some gold for you. I can usurp uh, this. Yeah, let's do it. That will give me too many duchies. But uh, storage point is something that I don't want to hold myself. Who's up here? Who, who's looking after storage point for me? I don't want it. Um, who are you? Wrong religion. Wrong culture. Do we have any ironborn up here? We, we should. Somewhere up here. Yeah, there he is. Grand title. Storage point. There we go. Gets rid of the duchy error. Uh, increase taxes, or you get a weak hook on a tully. Yeah, I'll take the taxes. How is West uh, the Westerlands guy doing? Oh, okay. He is feeling fine now. Oh, hang on, hang on. Lord Crom of the the, the, Cain, the Canes have taken over the Westerlands. Can I claim his title? Can I claim his title, please? Yes. Boom. Now, we can go to war with the Westerlands. Let's absolutely do that. Strap in for a, a war with the Westerlands. Declare war. My claims. I want the Westerlands. It's only going to cost me 80 prestige as well. Fantastic. Let's raise all of our troops here, right beside our borders. This will be our fourth kingdom. We already had four. But, um, yeah, <laughs> we gave one away. Call on my alloy. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Call on a house member. Yeah, let's do it. Let's take another kingdom. Raise the lads. Hopefully it'll be a quick one. We're about 30 minutes into the episode. I will end it after this war, I promise. That pinned character. What's the point in pinning them unless you get updates about them? I don't understand. I don't need... How many people am I fighting? I don't need all these troops. Okay, pause. We don't need all of these. Wish there was an easier way to do that. Okay, we are going to come in and begin sieging here. Should be pretty quick. Actually, actually, you go there, you go there, and we'll split into two. they're going for the riverlands i see them don't worry i see them we're gonna merge those guys together oh if we can we're gonna march north these folks while we're sieging down here merge merge together there we go Thirty-four thousand soldiers and we now have uh we have the lady from the stormlands in our bed Go here. Prisoners taken in siege. Massive, massive benefit here of uh, the war. Sorry, massive um, bonus benefit. Okay. Okay, 53% Westerlands War Banner. We're going to just take the prestige. And we're going to continue sieging down the territory. Siege, siege, siege. Weird, weird music playing in the background. Let me just, uh, let me lower that down a little bit. It, it's just like an organ or something playing in the background. It's very strange music. I don't think I needed my allies. We're coming for the title. This is, this is probably be the quickest kingdom. And Castle Rock is such a great holding as well. We might take that ourselves. Uh, that is a bad place to siege. Siege somewhere else. Siege somewhere that's easier to take. 
Yeah, like that. We are bleeding some gold right now. 57% war score. And... Come on. Got a fine sword, which is nice. I haven't got a Valerian sword yet. But it is on my list, don't you worry. Let's come up here for a fight. Merge them together. Meanwhile, you can, uh, I suppose, siege over here. 65% war score. Oh, there's a mountain range. Go chase them. Our allies are also sieging here as well. Siege, siege, siege. My favorite word in the series. Uh, I can change my nephew-in-law's contract. Uh, give me lots of money. Thanks. They think that they're gonna siege my my area here. Are you for real? Are you kidding me? Get out of my lands. Oh, this army's toast, man. I thought the uh, Lannisters and the army of the Westerlands would put up more of a fight than this. Nice. We got another. We're just there's swords everywhere here. Swords everywhere in the Westerlands. I could build my own throne out of them. Okay, come on. Seventy-seven percent war score. Okay, go siege there. We're taking lots of people into our prison too, which is lovely. And we have a spy master who's just passed away. We can add in um, this lady's deceitful. Let's get that guy in there. While they retreat, we siege and sack their towns. Uh, hopefully we don't do too much damage because we're going to inherit this ourselves. Continue just moving across the land, taking everything we can. 96% war score. Come on. Four kingdoms. Let's get four kingdoms. Let's get down here for... Actually, you know what? I'll just go siege that. It's easier. Go siege there. 96% war score. We're up against 6,000 troops. They fought bravely. We now have the Westerlands. Disband all of our armies. Look at the Iron Islands. We have four kingdoms. Look how beautiful that looks. We do want to go in. Uh, did we get the title? Did we get the title? Let's just see who we, who we kidnapped here. Um, we can demand your conversion. Let you go. A Tyrell, who has claims on the Reach. Well, no, you don't have claims on the Reach. You will actually switch your fate as well. All of these, I'm just going to get them to switch their fate if they can. That's good enough for me. We'll let them out. Uh, we'll we'll recruit some good fighters, but if they were that good, they wouldn't be in prison. They're, like, they are a weird religion, right? So somehow all of these converted early in the game. Uh, the man conversion. What a turn for the books. All of them are ready to convert as well. It's lovely. I could revoke this guy's title. Uh, no, I can't. Okay, never mind. The man conversion. He will not accept. I will uh, murder him then. Sacrifice him to our gods. Let's just see what happens in our prison when all of those people get let go. Our soldier count should be jumping up as well. We might have enough to take on the Targaryens now with this extra kingdom that we've just taken. We also have like so much, so many artifacts that to, to, to go through in our courtroom. Um, he will not convert. Okay, you're going to die. Seven more prisoners. Won't take long. And okay, anybody that doesn't convert is just getting the sword. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Faction created against me. Probably someone wants the throne, right? Someone wants the Westerlands. Yeah, thought so. He wants the throne back. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can start your faction, but uh, that's not going to, uh, to work. In fact, 
why don't why don't you just take a gift and you could like me again <laughs> i'll steal your land but you'll love me that's a good uh good of an intrigue character this is folks that's where we're going to leave it for today we've stolen a new kingdom the westerlands it is now part of the iron islands uh we can go through and revoke titles i might take Castle rock um as a holding may put one of my kids or maybe give it to my heir but uh next episode we'll go through the court artifacts thank you so very much for watching if you enjoyed uh the ironborn storm in the westerlands and taking over the kingdom please do leave a like and i'll see you in the next episode take care and as always enjoy the rest of your day bye bye